Today we're making these beautiful stuffed shrimp, stuffed with crab meat, with shallots, and deliciousness. So easy to make and oh so good. Want to see how we make it? Just keep watching. Alrighty, so for this recipe to start, you're gonna need some crab. All right, so I have about a pound of crab meat here. You wanna make sure that you drain it fully and then really crumble it up to get well, any uh, potential pieces of shell or cartilage that could remain. You're always gonna find that and it's always very unpleasant to be crunching on that when you're trying to eat crab, especially in a crab cake. It's just like, ugh. <laughs> all right, so once you have it all nice and crumbled, you're ready to add your other ingredients. So first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna add the juice of one lemon. And squeeze that in there. I'm using a medium sized lemon, so just in case. If not, it's gonna be about, probably about a tablespoon of lemon juice, okay. All right, so we got that in there. Next, we're gonna add some fresh chopped parsley. If you don't have fresh, you can use dry. I'm using about a tablespoon. Then we're gonna add about a third of a cup of chopped shallots. Add those in there. If you don't have um, shallots, you can use red onion, but I would use less because they're a little bit stronger, so I probably would only use about a quarter cup. All right. Next, we're gonna add our seasonings, just to taste. A little bit of salt. You wanna be careful with your salt level because um, crabs grow in salt water, so it's gonna be very salty. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna add some granulated garlic. All right, then I'm gonna add about a th uh, quarter cup of mayo. Just about a teaspoon of Dijon mustard. This really brightens up this dish up. All right, just a little bit, a little goes a long way, especially when you're using this one, <laughs> very strong. <laughs> All right, then we're gonna mix this up with a fork. Make sure you mix this very well. It's got a lot of different flavors going on in here. And you don't wanna be like, ooh, mustard, ooh, mayo, ooh, garlic, with every other bite. <laughs> you wanna have everything just mixed up nicely. Have one uniform flavor. We got that all mixed. All right, and then lastly, we're gonna add about a half a cup of Italian style breadcrumbs. All right, now we're gonna mix that up. And that's it. Nice and easy, right? All right, so now we're gonna prepare the shrimp. Forgot one last ingredient. You can add about, just about a tablespoon of olive oil. Sorry. <laughs> All right, so now you're gonna mix that up and now we're gonna prepare the shrimp. All right, so here I have a pound of shrimp. I'm using the um, 2125, so they're a nice size. Um, you can use bigger if you want. I wouldn't recommend smaller because then there's, you know, shrimp shrink when you sh um, cook them, hence the name shrimp. <laughs> um, but yeah, if you use anything smaller, it's really not going to be much there. So this is a good size. Let's see. But if you want to use the bigger ones, go for it. Especially those giant ones, but those tend to be really tough. All right, so we're going to make sure these are clean. So we're going to check these. These actually look really clean already. All right, so we took the shells out. We saw, look at that, clean shrimp. Nice. All right, so what are you going to do? We left the tail on because, you know, for aesthetic purposes. So... Normally, this is what you would, how you would slice it to um, clean it, but you're going to slice it almost all the way. Just leaving very little bit there. All right, and then there's your shrimp. You're going to arrange it in your baking dish, just like that. Doesn't that look cute? All right, so now we're going to do the rest of them. Remember how amazed I was that these shrimp were clean? They're not. Their poop line is underneath. I've never seen that before in my life. Strange but they clean very, very easily. So you just make a slight incision, and that comes right out. Yay. So, 
weird shrimp, but hopefully they're still going to be delicious. So we're still going to cut this up. And then we still have a butterfly. All right. All right, so we got our shrimp all cut up, butterflied, and lined up in our pan. We had 25, so I guess these were honestly, you know, 21, 25 per pound shrimp. <laughs> all right, so you're going to drizzle this lightly with some olive oil, just right on top. Just a, one little streak across all of them. All right, and then we are going to make tiny little meatballs with our crappy mixture. All right, so what you're going to do is take a little bit, probably like a teaspoon, heaping teaspoon, and you're just going to form it into a little bowl, and then it goes right in the middle of the shrimp. Cute, right? All right, I know I'm saying these were stuffed and, you know, but how are you going to stuff shrimp, really? <laughs> <laughs> so technically these are not really stuffed shrimp, but you know, it works for what we're doing. All right, so we're gonna make the rest of these. Get them all nice and ready. I lift that tail, put it under the tail. There you go, see, doesn't that look cute? And they're gonna bake like that too, so fun. All right, so we're gonna get the rest of them done. All right, so once you got all your shrimp stuffed, you're going to top with just a little bit of paprika. Just more for color purposes. <laughs> but paprika, you can never put too much of the stuff on here. It is amazing. Just the flavor. So good. It's made from dried peppers. All right. So then you're going to add about a quarter cup of a dry white wine to the bottom of the pan. Just so it has a little pool of something to cook in. You don't want them to get stuck or to burn. And then you're gonna see a lot of the liquid's gonna come out of the shrimp. This is almost gonna make a little bit of a sauce. So we're gonna spread this around, make sure everything's nice and coated. Then you're gonna get two tablespoons of butter, and then you're gonna cube it up and just throw it in between. Get all that butter in there. Cube it up small. So you get in between all the shrimp. <laughs> You know, sharing is caring. You want everybody to get some, right? And that is your stuffed shrimp. All right, so now this is gonna go in uncovered into a preheated 400 degree oven for just about 15, 20 minutes. You're gonna see the um, tails will be a nice bright pink. The shrimp should be cooked, well, will be cooked. And you're gonna see the um, crab cakes that are they're stuffed with are gonna get a little bit browned. All right, so now into the oven they're gonna go. You guys, a little something going on. <laughs> <laughs> yes, th they're cooking. <laughs> the shrimp are cooking, Lulu. I can't make them cook faster. <laughs> you want me to make them cook faster? I'm sorry. They're cooking. <laughs> It'll just be another couple <laughs> minutes, okay? Just a few more minutes and they'll be ready. All right? See, Drake's being good. Good boy. So, 30 minutes later, we pull this out of the oven. They're nice and crispy, ready to serve. Yum. And here we have a dinner fit for a queen. Enjoy, Lulu. Enjoy. You don't know where to start, do you? <laughs> or you want the steak first. All right. Good girl. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel at Poppy's Cucina. Thanks. You didn't think I forgot, do you? <laughs> That's right. It's cocktail time. Woo! Alrighty, so for today for our Italian apple martini, you're gonna start with one ounce of vanilla vodka. One and a half ounces of apple schnapps. One ounce of amaretto. Half an ounce of lime juice and about a half an ounce of simple syrup. All right, so it's shaky, shaky time. Almost forgot, splash of cranberry juice. All right, now it's shaky, shaky time. And we pour. Oh, interesting color. Hopefully it tastes good. Ooh. Cheers. Ooh. Oh wow, that's really good. Think 
an apple martini, but with the smooth finish of the amaretto and the vanilla, just the nice light hints. Oh, that's awesome. That is so good. If you make this drink, let us know. Thanks for watching.